Okay, so I guess the question that everybody wants to know, right, is how did you come about the name Urban Dub? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, in 1980, <laughs> and then. <laughs> No, seriously, um, why? What is the reason behind your decision to end? Is it ending? Is this, is this uh, what you're doing? Parang indefinite hiatus, you know what I mean? Okay. Even the way that we posted it on, on online the first time we announced that we were going to disband. Yeah. Was uh, parang the last time that the four members are going to share the stage together. And then um, it's more or less parang we're just going to celebrate our 15th year in the industry. And at the same time, give each other the chance to just sit back and relax and focus more on, on family. Because okay. uh, for one thing, it's, it really started with Lalay when she got pregnant. We kind of knew or had a feeling that she wasn't going to be able to fully commit to the band because she has to take care of her kid. Okay. Because ako, I have a kid of my own. So parang, uh, we figured that since we had a good run, we might as well just end it on, on, on a good note rather than continue on without one member or with a member missing and uh, it, it, it won't feel the same you know what I mean? and that's how you guys were but ever since uh, you felt that when you got together this is the band this is the one yeah especially when Jan Jan came in he came in around 2003 yes and, right. and that was a time that more or less the band really got established on a national level yeah so parang we've always considered it na the four elements of Urban Dub are the four of us. So if may isang member na mawawala... For, as in, for a long period than day na. But I mean like on temporary... Temporary, temporary lang, you know, that's why we have Russell. Yeah, I was, was about to say, kawawa naman fit, si Russell. No, feeling <laughs> in... No, in terms of performing, there's no problem for us. But like, going into a studio again, oh, and, and writing. writing and recording, it's different. Yeah, it's different. So tell me, when did it really sink in that it was time. Like you mentioned when when Lalay got pregnant, right? Yeah. And then you knew that that was gonna start becoming a major priority for her. Was that when it sunk in that, okay, our time's ticking? Uh, more, more or less. And then closing in into the 15th year then, then we figured that instead of I know, uh, making it like a sad thing, yeah, like, parang yeah. let's just celebrate na lang what we've done in the industry yes. you know make it a good solid number of 15 and then just perform one last time together and then go our separate way. was this something that everybody agreed on I mean were you guys cool with that too or or was it like well shit we have no choice it, 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 it can be that but you know uh, at the end of the day we have to uh, understand each other's priorities mm -hmm. so there it's been yeah. For 15 years, man, that's yeah. a good ride. Because there's a lot of stuff that we still think that we can do, you know what I mean? As a band, pero yun nga, pagkulang na member. Bitin. Bitin, and it's, you know, it, the you whole process. You won't have the key, key kapu. Yeah, uh, key component ng band pa, no, wala. So, parang, we, you know, we much rather um, end it on a good note. Then. And uh, parang maganda yung tingin ng tao sa yeah. Sorry, no, no, I'm banning you guys from speaking. Don't call it. This is a team show. This is a team show. It's a family show. Shit. <laughs> Did you make this decision in 2014? We were talking about it 2013. Uh, it's getting earlier and earlier. Yeah. Next thing you know, 20, no. 2013. Pa lang, kasi yun yung That's mga, when it started. Yeah, right? more or less. When Lale got pregnant. When she got married. Oh, she got married. Yeah. Yeah, major. Oh, okay. 2014. Pa, so siguro. 2014. So, talaga, six months in. Did. Yeah, six months into when I was starting to play bass. Play. Okay. So, baga, six Are you months. sure it's not his fault? Na major. <laughs> diba? Russell. Parang yeah. Because si John mo kung fast pitch. So tell me about, you know, from an outsider's perspective. How does that happen? How does the talk take place? Was it somebody just mentioning it, you know, to somebody, or did everybody sit down? What What was that talk like, you know, when you guys got together and actually made the decision? Was it all of you in the room? 
It wasn't oh. like it wasn't like that. Uh, iba ba? Parang pa gradual yung progression. Iba bang gigs? Yeah. That when we'd all sit down after a show and then we'd be in the van or before a show. It's, oh nga, no? Parang ganit yung ganit. What, like this in? Sato lang din sa time. Because we were gonna do the concert, the 15th year anniversary concert, regardless. Mm-hmm. So parang... Was that planned before? That was planned. Oh, a long time na. Long yeah, time na. Siguro, on our 13th year, we already thinking about the 15th year anniversary concert. Okay. So gradually, doon na nagsimula yung kutuan na, what if we just end it na lang? There. There, yeah. On a high note. On a high note. And uh, mag- there's parang may konting relevance pa yung band in the scene. So, you know... Unlike some other bands that just keep forcing the issue <laughs> for 26 years. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no for us, you know what I mean? And I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think we've gotten to a point that we, we, we've come to terms with the fact that we've we've done our part uh, in terms of representing Cebu. It has always been that for us. Now. That was your main thing? Oh, to, to, to come here and represent where we come from, um, uh, you know, represent the Cebu scene. Uh, a Cebuano band or a band from the province can make it on a national level. So and we were able to do that. Yeah. So now, you know, and more, quite played Singapore, we played other countries. So parang for us, naman na sakto na rin. It's, a, it's a good time to like you know, bow, bow out for, for a minute when you have kids and you know sometimes. Parang, tell, tell us about that. As a new parent, how was that like for you? You know, trying to fit in uh, the touring and all of that. Late nights, you know? the, the late nights really get to you. I mean, you come home at 4 a.m. and then, of course, your kid wakes up at around 6 in the morning. Mm-hmm. And then you, you, you do your best to wake up when he gets up or when she gets up with, with the kid. And so, and then you get you end up getting trained for the rest. And then you have to play another show in the evening. And it's a cycle. So yeah, yeah it takes its toll on the body. And we're not 25 anymore. Yeah. So, parang it's, it's different. It really becomes different. Even yung mindset in terms of um, writing is different. Because we've always written songs na parang out of angst or out of heartbreak or out of you know yeah. negative emotions. So now na parang ang hirap maging rock and roll when <laughs> you're singing Barney songs and flowers <laughs> and, 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 and diaper changes. Toy Story. Uy, metal din yung diaper changes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, especially pag <laughs> It, and also, I guess, the, the leaving the house, you know, having to leave. The, yeah, the especially if out of the country, you're out of town, you're gone, what, three days, four days sometimes. And, yeah. you know, if your heart is, is not really 100% into what you're doing, yeah. it's like, you're, 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 you're just selling the audience short. Right. Do you think you still have another album in you? I mean, if you didn't do this. I think so, yeah. Hindi naman kami naubusan ng ideas din eh. So the writing process still would have been, you know... It would be harder, uh, well, not for them, for me. Kasi yun nga, yung mindset is very different from how I was before, about siguro about five years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or three years ago. So, you know, hard, medyo struggle siya, pero kaya naman, like, you know, we always uh, done things naman na we can be proud of. But yun nga, you can never tell anymore. Iba na yung making direction. Tell us about your last album. Yeah. Okay, that was Esoteric. That was done 2013, yeah. right? Now, I noticed when that came out, it was in two days and it was torrented all over the place. Yeah. I saw torrent, torrent, torrent. torrent. Yeah. Did, did that have an effect on this decision? No. Uh, expected. <laughs> Yeah. I think uh, Is that how you look at it now, putting out an album? Well, I'm everywhere. Even that we can see now. We can't put up in this people online. It can be flattering. Yeah. People really wanted to share your music. Especially for people who are having hard time getting it. Even though there's iTunes. Yes. We never really complained that much about the industry anyway, to begin with, you know what I mean? Because it is what it is. It you is can't really, it is. You can say all you want about the industry and what, what the bad things that go on in the industry, but at the end of the day, So all we can do is just focus on our music, play, and pre- perform for the people who want to hear us perform, and who want to buy original copies of our albums. And then, 
everything else is bad. Bad. Just and, let it go. Yeah, it's, you know, unnecessary negativity. Na eh. anyway, it's not gonna make us better musicians. Yeah. So why focus on that? It never played a part on our decision. Did the record labels say anything? Did they try to sway you? Say, hey, come on, stay? Or that? Uh, 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 they no, were supportive. No, no, they, they were very supportive. No? They kind of, when we sat down with the label naman and explained it to them, naman, they were very understanding naman with, what, it, with our decision. Sana hindi. Yeah. Sabi nila, sana hindi. Pero in the end of the day, yung artist. That's right. You know, and, and we're very lucky to have been part of a label. Even the first label that we signed with before EMI and, and now with MCA. Na parang, they've always given us creative freedom and freedom to do the stuff that we want. Mm -hmm. and felt that was right for our band. So when we decided na rin to Lilo, they never really went against it. And even they're helping us out now with coming up with this event. So how the show's been so far, the ones because you're just filling up uh, you're just finishing whatever you have uh, Yeah, so yeah, it's always full. Like now. Yeah. The one in nineteen eighties was like uh, with Kamikaze was like amazing. It's like standing room only, the one in seventies piece with the good sandwich was packed. So, and people have always been very enthusiastic every time we play, so parang, it's nice to see that. I mean, to see people react in, in, in that, in a positive way. Even though sometimes they come up to you and say, nasa ano, wag na lang sir, ganyan, ganyan. Pero, when we explain it to them, kahit simple explanation, they, they're very really understanding. They get it. Yeah, they get it. We're blessed to have our intelligent fans. <laughs> yeah. Understanding. Understanding and intelligent. Awesome. Russell, for you. You are somebody that, that's played a... A role in this band, you know, not just not just now filling in for Lale, but even before when, when John was uh, yeah. was an not so long time ago. Yeah, but I mean, I'm assuming you're a fan, right? Not just a friend, but a yeah. fan as well. How does it make you feel hearing that um, you know that they're that you're doing? This? You know, if I had it all in my power to convince them that no, it's not, don't do this, don't don't just you know because, but I can't. Because it naturally just happened. Yeah. You know, it's 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 sad, pero it is what it is, man. So you can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try. In the scene, also another another major band that uh, that decided to do the same thing, more yeah. or less, Kamikaze. Yeah. Matchmates, um, pa Yeah, exactly, yeah. Diba? How did you guys feel when? When you heard their decision, no, na ako kami mag-announce. That's what I was saying. I was gonna say, do you regret that they beat you to it? No, no, no. But wasn't that a struggle for you guys going gig to gig? Because you know, when you have something in your mind like that, like, like, oh, you know, it's the end already. It's the end. But it doesn't it get harder to play music or play shows? Actually, uh, no, it, it wasn't. I, I love it more now. Yeah. But you're sucking in oh, whatever man. you can. Now oh. you're taking in more. Oh. Ever since we got sucking up the marrow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Parang ang every time now, like when we play gigs, it's mas naingganyo kami to Yeah. You know what I mean? Because uh, leading up to the announcement ng April one, parang ini enjoy lang namin every time now we get to perform. Because we we knew that it was leading up to the 15th. Did you talk to Kamikaze about it? Did oh, you guys have a discussion? Yeah, yeah we, we had a like show together nung last time. Tawa na kami. What's this, 19 East? 19 East, parang retirees concert. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pero parang ganun din, same mindset din lang yata eh. Parang family, focus Just explore, business. yeah. Oh, explore music or explore other things outside of the band set. Let's talk about that. What is going to happen with you guys individually now? Well, I, I have songs of my own, so... It might be the best time for me to really pick up the band. So you're front man? Uh, I want to say. I mean, I, I try to sing so. Okay. And uh, business. Okay. I design shirts. So I just want to that again. Focus on that. And, uh, Before I was a friend, I was designing a shirt. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, still music. Have you got all that in place already? Or you're gonna make kapa kapa now? Starting now? Or you already know where you're gonna go? You have people in mind to help you? Are you gonna do it on your own? What's... Uh, yeah, I have people in mind. And, I, and from the very beginning, ever since college, I know that I'll die as a musician. I can't see myself stopping from doing music. So, so it's still music. John. Yeah. 
time more on family. You're gonna focus on the family. Okay. So, so I was thinking to have a uh, house planning also to have a business. Oh really? Okay. So that's it. A family, family. How about you? Drink wine. Drink wine. Our business, chaka family. Music naman hindi naman yun mawawala. Yeah. You know, I, I'm still writing my own stuff then, pero in terms of releasing it, hindi pa siguro. You know, I mean, I just write for myself. Yeah. Even with Urban Dub. You know, What's the style of the music that you're writing? Hindi ko alam, weird. Yeah, but you also, is it the same? Is it sound the same or is it different? What What are you... More or less, I guess, yeah, I can't seem to stop my instincts in how I write songs. Yeah. A little bit of Urban Dub is too close to that music. Okay. I can't get that away from it. Yeah. We'll probably explore more genres. Well, Russell, you have your thing, right? You have yeah. your thing going. I have my own thing going. Yeah. <laughs> Still with fast pitch, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Fast pitch curbside. How oh, curbside. Curbside. What made you want to be Urban Dub when you started? Well, we took it seriously after the first time we came to Manila. Mm -hmm. When we were able to perform at Rock Awards, that was 2003, the first time we performed Rock Awards, and then we won uh, Song of the Year, parang uy, pwede maging karim. That was the parang defining moment. Parang uy. Yeah, yeah, because like, we never really expected anything out of it. Even the first time we were invited to perform in Manila, we were just thinking, okay, we'll play, and then go back home. Mm -hmm. Actually, yun naman na yun naging... Wala, trip, trip lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kumbaga, we never... We weren't, we weren't really the best band or the biggest band to come out of school when we first came here. So we weren't really expecting anything. Everything was by accident. Everything just... para materialized uh, on its own. And we just ra ran with it, I guess. So, let's reflect now on the career. 15 years. Yeah. What are you most proud of? Uh, well, aside from, you know, actually making it in Manila you know taking the Cebu game here what else well, uh, the the audience when they whenever they sing our songs okay you know what I mean that's I think as a songwriter then as a musician with it they parang, you know you have that insecurity na ng tao yung mga kanta na and then whenever you get on stage and you play all these songs that you've slaved away writing and you know racking your brain on how to make it good and then you hear people with a positive response parang, more than the awards, more than anything else that people have given us in the industry, it's the audience na kumakanta. Yeah. You know, the best thing, I guess. I think for any band, I think that's the yeah, best yeah. thing you'll ever get. Correct, yeah. correct. Right. Right. Especially on something you wrote in your room, right? It, oh, and then all of a sudden. Oh, in an acoustic guitar, oh, yeah. an acoustic guitar, and then you, know, you never really know if they're going to like it or not. Then you hear them sing it. Oh, you just ah. stop. That's one of the best things that we've ever how about, experienced. How about everyone else, like you guys? What made me proud? Uh, I think it was my choice to be playing music with these guys. Aww. And, yeah. and of course, and of course, the Wait, fans. do we nullify that answer or we accept that answer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it was a good choice for me. Especially in a time when I had to choose from work and music. So I, in my heart, I, I chose music at that time, uh, 2002. So I didn't make the wrong choice. <laughs> Playing these guys also. And with the great intelligent oh, fans. <laughs> so oh, I? Yeah, no, but you. As I, I'm going to work. Uh, <laughs> uh, kami kay content sa scene, sa music scene. Yeah. I feel bad I'm not asking Russell, but, well. Yeah, I'm proud of all three of them. No. For repping uh -huh. yeah. for us. For, uh, <laughs> for, actually, uh, for actually showing my, like, my bands like how to do it. <laughs> Bad props. Okay, now what about the regrets? Ah, regrets. Uh, wala namang immediate regrets, pero parang one thing that we never really got to experience was going to the States and uh, performing there for the Filipino community. Because we've had so many opportunities to do that. Yeah. But for some strange reason, it never really materialized. Okay. You know, we get invited, pero one thing would fall apart and, you know, never really happen. Yun lang siguro. But, Everything else, we're kind of happy. Okay, yeah. 
na naka-frustrate lang ito. Uh, yun na lang sa... Uh, yun na yun yeah, na just na that. Parang that would have capped it. Capped it, yeah. Ganun. And we were already planning to. So, we had... Pero, we've made our choices. And, uh, parang, uh, the choices we've made naman worked out for the better. You know, in a different way. Pero yun nga, sayang. Yeah. Yeah. We would have missed out on that the, the tour. Yeah, that's so, right. You that's guys, right. Yeah. That crazy tour. That crazy tour. So the ninth is coming up. Mm-hmm. Emotions. What's going on inside of you guys? Stress. As we're planning it. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing it on our own. Oh, you're doing the whole thing on your own? The yeah, show with, our, with our management now. Okay. Carlene and Lord and uh, our label. Uh, preparing and stuff. Siguro everything will sink in talaga fully when we're there. You know the what? day of yeah on the day of when all we have to think about is just to play and then probably you're not gonna finish that show and then decide you know what day now let's just keep going no come on do it just do that that's, that's for awesome. sure <laughs> <laughs> ay hindi na lang pala joke guys joke only thanks for coming you know <laughs> mahabang April Fool's Day umabot ang gabi what are the favorite things that you can say about uh, playing with each other Chemistry. Uh, I've been in a, a couple of bands before, but I've never had that. Parang, especially writing, the writing process. Na whatever I have in my head, na, like when I'm writing a song, I just visualize the parts. Mm-hmm. Immediately when I get into a studio and then show show them the song or let them hear the song, more or less they they come close to what I'm I have in my head. So now I don't have to really tell them what to do. Yeah. Parang, John, okay, this part mo, ito, this is what's gonna happen. And then John does his thing, and I'm like, ah, okay, tama. And then John, John, oh, I say, this part, mabilis. This part, mabagal. And then, and what he picks pick, to hit is perfect. Yeah, and, uh, maganda yung chemistry. Eh. Short, or tight. Tight. <laughs> Kasi wala kami ibang trabaho, hindi. <laughs> That's the fun part about being in the band. And even, not even the writing, you know, mga fan, fan rides, mga kwentuhan. Oh, like when you, we share music with each other. You guys aren't quiet in the van? No. We can be rowdy at times. There are times when we are so tired. Lalo pag kasing sila. Party party sa van. Happy drunk sila. Pag elevator. Elevator party! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is gonna be the last one, man. Look, thanks a lot, you guys, for taking the you. time. You know. Thank you. If there was something that would make you guys play together again? The money. What would it be? The money. The money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has to be the right timing, siguro. Then when everybody's like, more or less up to doing it again, and performing again. Okay. Kids are grown. Kids are grown. If it's worth, worth it na, if the fans really want us to. Yeah. If the stars align. If the stars go. align, yeah. Well, that's it. So, um, you guys, thanks a lot for taking the time. Thank Urban you. Dub, take a bow, man. Thank you. 15 May years. Nine. May nine. Inspiration May nine. to uh, generations. Thank you. Thank you.